Each city is so different. You have so many different climates, uh, different people, different foods. Um, what I have to say is that all the halls I've been to were really wonderful uh, in terms of uh, architecture, acoustics. So I was very impressed with that. I'd like to spend some more time in Shanghai because even though I've been, it was relatively short and I didn't see so much. So that would be a city I would be interested in getting to know a bit. I like that a lot also. Um, and again, I mean, it taps into the same uh, topic, but the amount of different cuisines was amazing. Uh, so we went all the way to the north, uh, to in the south we also were, and um, everywhere the food is different, but great in its own way. So. I started playing the cello when I was about eight. Um, I had played the, the piano for a couple of years and also tried the violin briefly, but then at eight I started the cello. I was fascinated by the size of the instrument uh, because I had the violin before, it wasn't big enough, so I chose the cello. And um, yeah, and very quickly I realized that the cello was much more suitable for me as an instrument and I had a much more natural way of you know approaching the instrument and ultimately being able to express myself so I think that is the reason why then I chose the chose the cello as an instrument for me it was not a conscious decision or a, uh, or a specific event that made that choice I think it's something that happened over time um, kind of, yeah. Um, I mean, I started being more serious about the instrument at the age of around 13, 14, I think is when I really started thinking this is something that, that I would like to do later. And um, yeah, that was also when I started taking practice a little more seriously and, um, and really trying to, to develop in such a way that I could do this uh, professionally. I was lucky to have lots of people supporting me. My parents, first of all, uh, my mother being a piano teacher, knew a little something of, uh, about music, obviously. Um, and then I had a wonderful teacher at the time also that was very supportive. And um, yeah, I feel very lucky to have had this support early on because I think without it, it's probably possible, but a lot harder. The instrument I play is uh, made in Brescia in northern Italy around 1600 um, and that makes it a very special instrument because from that early school of violin making there are very few cellos that, that survive. So yeah, I, I was very lucky to find this instrument. Uh, it's on loan to me from a private collection um, and I've played it for three years now. And it's very interesting to me that um, when I first started playing it, I immediately felt that there was something, uh, a connection with the sound. Uh, but we still had a long way to go, so I had to get to know the instrument, really play it. Um, and now I'm very happy on it. Um, I wouldn't be happy playing only solo or playing only chamber music. Um, because of course, when you're a soloist and you're out there and get to present something, yeah, that of course is great and it's very enjoyable, um, but that element of communicating in this very intimate way with other people in making chamber music is something that I would never want to miss. There, there are differences um, in the sense that when you're a soloist and you're in front of the orchestra, you have to be very strong uh, in the sense that you show exactly how you want it to sound uh, and where you're going with the music because you have this big group of people behind you that you have to take with you. Um, but then at the same time, even though you're a soloist, you still need to be aware of what's happening behind you. So that element of listening and reacting to, to what the orchestra is doing is very much like chamber music. Um, I think the main difference is probably the rehearsal process that it, with the orchestra is a little more strict let's say because you know I will propose something the conductor obviously will work with the orchestra um, whereas in chamber music everybody gives their opinion and you discuss things and maybe have more room to try things uh, to get to to a common ground 